all right good evening chat how are y'all doing all right we're back uh sorry about that the delay you know things happen i didn't put the right resolution so we get to start it all over again it's youtube problems okay that's just kind of what happens so first off tonight we're going to be focused on uh doing a star citizen beginner's guide we're not getting into and when i say beginner i mean like beginner right so it's like baseline stuff to help somebody be successful that wants to come into the game that probably has not played the game before or maybe somebody who's considering playing we got a couple people of different you know different levels that uh some have not played the game at all and then we have a couple that have played it for a couple months but there's certain aspects of the game that they really haven't played that much so we're going to be answering their questions because it's probably the easiest questions to answer throughout this video i uh, just remember if you have a question or there's something that you want if you're watching this after the live stream the best thing that you can do is to actually post into the comments okay i'm going to see the comments i'll be able to answer those later and then uh and then be able to reply to those so you at least have answers to whatever you're kind of looking forward to <clears throat> no questions really off limits as far as the uh as far as this is concerned because it's gonna be very helpful okay so we'll do the best that we can to to get you guys the answers that you require uh the first question you're probably all gonna you're, you're gonna ask or anybody should be asking yourself can you play the game that needs to be the very first question that you ask okay so going to somebody's stream like myself or going to a youtube video watching it being like man this is an amazing looking game man i want to play this the very first thing that you absolutely need to do is ensure that you meet the requirements for the game. I've actually got those down in this video, so you can see it down there. Okay, you can go down and look at the requirements, but you need to read the requirements and make sure that you meet them. To be even more important, you, you don't just need to meet the requirements, you need to exceed them, okay? So it's like anything in life, you know, we'd all love to make $100, but $1,000 is way better, right? So it's the same idea with the requirements here. The better your computer is, uh, the, the, the more fun you're gonna have inside of Star Citizen, right? If you just meet the requirements, you're gonna, you should be able to play, should be in the, the big word, but also expect that there'll probably be some issues, okay? Um, I think what we've kind of learned with the game now, playing it as long as I have, is that the CPU is a huge part of that. GPU, maybe not so much, but you still need a GPU, right? Still need to meet those minimum standards. Um, and then you need to make sure that your uh your ram is good because you're gonna have multiple you know kind of programs and stuff like that up and you're gonna know when you start to play the game if you start to slide all over the map you're rubber banding you're seeing lots of lag things like that your initial thing is gonna be to blame the game uh, or even blame the internet that that's probably not the case nine out of ten it's gonna be your system and uh, your system can't do it there's some codes and stuff you can put into the game right that you can physically look and see what the uh, uh what the what the fps is and stuff like that i'm not going to teach you that today you don't need that the best thing i can teach you is go to the website make sure that you look over what the minimum requirements are before you do anything else okay let's say that you make it past that right you're good to go you made it past the minimum requirements you know that you can play the game you're super happy you want to start now you need to find uh really what what package that you want to choose okay and we're going to go into those packages just a little bit because i think that'll be a little bit helpful for you guys to kind of see you know what you're going to see anyway uh, there's really not a lot of uh, sneaky information that you're going to be able to steal here anyway from me. So we'll we'll uh, we'll keep it as such. So let me switch into the the live mode here. Um, okay, let's see if we can get this to work appropriately. Uh, browser, browser, and then we are going to go to pledge. Okay, so what you're going to see when you come to whatever you're using, you're going to basically see this. Okay, and and this is your pledge page. So once you come in, you're gonna have to make your account. If you're making your account, the first thing that you wanna make sure that you're doing is that, that you are using a, uh, a code, a redeem, redeem code from somebody, okay? It doesn't matter if it's for me, doesn't matter if it's from another content creator, use somebody's code. You can find mine down in the description of this video, but there's a code in there. The reason you wanna use this code is not because you're like helping me out and I'm gonna get millions of dollars. That's not the case. Actually for you, you're going to get 5,000 UECs for end game. Okay. So that's, that's money. Trust me that you're definitely going to want. So do not sign up for this game and not use somebody's code. Like you're basically losing out uh 5,000 uh, UEC. Again, doesn't matter if it's mine or it's another creators highly recommend though, that you use them. Okay. Once you log in all of that, you're going to come up here, right? You're going to be able to hit the, the account. Uh, you'll come here to the pledge store. So once you click that, it's going to open up this page and it's very simple at this point. Okay. Now all we need to do is look at the view all game packages. And we can go in now and we can look and see what all we have available. And here's all the things that you have available that you can absolutely purchase, right? And, and look, there's some doozies. 
you get this convoy pack for $3,500 if you're out there and you're up, or even this one, 15,000 if you really want. So if you're a high roller, you know, and uh, you bet on the weekends, you get good stuff, you know, good for you. Uh, that, that is not the case for me. You know, I went for the Aurora. Um, now, the, the thing I'll tell you is the reason I went for the Aurora is because the Aurora has space. So there's space, there, there's a lot of different things you can do inside of the game. One of those things that's really important inside of the game is you wanna be able to do like delivery runs and things like that, right? And if you get the, the Titan packages or some of these others, you don't have that ability because these are small ships. So you're gonna get inside these ships thinking that you're gonna be able to do these delivery runs and stuff and you're not, you're not gonna be able to do those. You're gonna be focused only on really dog fighting uh, at best, and then even maybe some other things, but there's no storage capacity at all. Okay, and there's an entire website that deals with uh, the storage capacities and I'll show you. So my recommendation, if you're new to the game, you know, let's say that that you're, you know, you hear me talking about the requirements, but you're like, okay, yeah, cool, Sarge, I hear you talking about it, but dude, I'm gonna get the game anyway. And th that's fine, because there is a refund policy, okay? Uh, you have 30 days, I believe is the thing. You need to read the refund policy. Um, don't Don't quote me on that, please. But read the refund policy. You can play the game for a little bit, make sure it runs appropriately and all of that, and then kind of go into the game. So that's a that's another positive part of what I would say is this game. Um, so let's just kind of look at, so the Aurora, right? The one thing that Star Citizen does really well is they have lots of wikis and stuff, right? So this wiki, you can come in and we can come in and we can just search. So it's nothing, Star Citizen wiki. If I can spell, you have different types of Aurora's. We know that if I remember right, the the MR is the starter pack. Okay, that's 45 bucks, right? Uh, is what you could do. Now you could do Squadron 42. Squadron 42 is a standalone game. It's not out yet, solo player, all that. So we're not gonna talk about that today. But so if you get the Aurora, you can see here that it has three SCUs of cargo space. So that's phenomenal. You at least have something. You also have space in there, you can just drop packages. So that's, that's cool. So you can do bunkers, you can do caves, uh, you're gonna be able to do delivery missions and you can even do a little bit of dog fighting. Although dog fighting may not be phenomenal in this ship, you can at least do something, okay? So this ship is a really good all around kick butt uh, ship for you to use as kind of new players. Now, if we go in and we look at the other ship, so we look at the Titan. Okay, let's just go in and look at the Titan. Titan. Uh, that, that's a moon. So you don't want to buy a moon. Okay. Moons are not good. Uh, so we'll, 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 we'll type in Avenger instead. Uh, there we go. So the Avenger Titan, if you look at this one, uh, this one has cargo, the base variant capability carrying up to eight SUs. So you actually have cargo space in this one, but the thing you don't have is an open space to do like deliveries. What's up, Blight? Good to see you, buddy. So you don't have a space inside of this ship, unfortunately, to put packages, but you do have eight SUs. And I think sometimes this will confuse people. Um, which is fine. Come down here, look at the pictures, you know, rotate through them. So that way you can see exactly what the, uh, what the ships look like and all of that. I, I highly recommend that. The, the most important thing that you can do, look at the ships before you purchase them, right? It's like the Mustang. Mustang's even worse because the Mustang is simply just a, uh, that thing is 100% just a fighter. Uh, you have the Avenger has kind of both. It has storage and it's a fighter. And then you have the Roarer, which is kind of your, uh, it, it'll do both, but it's the cheapest package, right? So you've got the, the 45 there. So the bottom line, most, most players, I recommend getting 45. The other thing you can do is you can upgrade your ship. So this is the other thing I wanna tell you. So if you come in and you get this, right? You get the, the normal package, 45 bucks. You're like, later on, you're like, man, I really want a bigger ship now because I'm enjoying the game. You're scrolling down here. You actually have the ability to come inside of the ship upgrades, find the ship that, that you got, whatever that ship is. So if you got the, whatever it is. So the Titan, for instance, I could click the Titan and now I can upgrade it. So I can put towards, another ship, whether it's, you know, for me, I've got the 300i, the 315p, the Reliant Core, the 135c, the three. And so you have all these things over here on the right side now that I can move towards uh, purchasing, obviously with, with real money based off of how I have it here. Um, so you can always upgrade ships as well. You don't have to buy a new ship. If you're not gonna fly the ship that you have, then upgrade it. Don't, don't waste your time uh, with the other stuff. So that should be a good start for everybody, okay? So you've, you've looked, you met the requirements, you've signed up on the site, right? You're good. You use somebody's uh, redeem code. So you've, you've redeemed uh, something. So you get the 5,000 UECs, you've went in, you've now purchased the game. Okay, you went with the $45 pack or whatever you want, right? If you, if you don't like doing packages and stuff and all you want to do is dog fighting because you're, uh, 
you know, your, 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 I don't know, your, uh, your goose, and that's all you care about, then that's fine. You know, get the, get the Mustang, you do your thing, and you get out there and you, you get after it. <clears throat> That'll give you the 5,000 UECs, and now you start the game. The next question you're going to get is where should you spawn? Okay. To, to get into the spawning, I'm going to go into the game so that way you guys can physically see um, where the spawn points are. You have multiple locations that you as a player can kind of go into. You have four, what I would say, four main ones that you have uh, the ability to assess, to kind of go in or to access, sorry, to go in and, and kind of figure out. Each one of them is a little bit different based off of what you want to do. New players, now different people are going to tell you different things. I'm just going to tell you my thought on this, still being a player that, that's only been into the game now a couple months now, right? Coming back in. Um, my recommendation, if you, if you've not played, I don't like, I don't play a lot of flight simulators and stuff. I'm not the best pilot. Like I'm, you know, I'm, I'm new. So when I came into this, other than playing this the first time, it was interesting to me how immersive it was, but this was not the, the game, right? I, I'm not a guy to play Microsoft flight simulator and some of that stuff. Um, so my recommendation for any of y'all that are coming into the game is just to understand that, sorry, it'll, it'll flip over in a second that you want to ensure that you're picking the best location for you. So let's just kind of look at those locations real quick. I chose Hurston. Okay, Hurston is here on the map. So when you look at the map, it's here in the middle. The reason that I chose that location is because it's kind of center of the map, right? The most important thing is it doesn't really matter where your starting point is. You can always change it down the road. You can always reset your character on the website and, and go back to a new location. So if you accidentally choose or chose uh, area 18, which is down here in, in Arc Corp, right? Like you went down here because that's where you wanted to be. That's fine. Don't don't worry about it. You're going to be okay. You have the ability to uh, to change that later. Uh, new Babbage is going to be up here in uh, Microtech. So that's up in this area right here. So white. And then you have uh, the last one. Hold on. Let me pull you out. Sorry about that. You're going to have uh, Lorville which is the one I highly recommend here. Okay, so it's right there. It's in Hurston. And then the last one, oh, let, me, let me go out just a little bit more. This is live chat, so th this time we don't get it. Last one is Orson right here. So one of those four locations are gonna be the locations that you're gonna choose. I recommend that Lorville be your location, but it's okay. You can always change your respawn point and all of that. And I'm gonna show you that here in a second. At the end of the day, what really matters is whatever location you pick, anything that you purchase in game, or I'm sorry, out of game, right? You spend like, like money on actual money. Um, those items are then going to be at that location. So if, uh, if you get a pair of tennis shoes, well, I, I don't think they have tennis shoes, but you get an outfit of some sort online, just know it's going to be back at your base. Um, if, if you, your, your ship, you can recall anywhere, but it's really items that you're wearing. Okay. I'm not going to get too in depth with that because that'll confuse some people on positive, but at least you have a, a better understanding of kind of what that looks like. When you come into the game, you're always going to be in, in kind of like this. You're going to be in some sort of a setting where you're in rooms of some sort. Okay. The most, the, the hardest part about this game is understanding that you have to read. Okay. And I can't say that enough times. You've got to read in this game. If you don't like to read, you may not like this game. Okay. I don't, I don't know how better to put it to you. I wish I, I wish you didn't have to read. You'll get used to it over time, but reading is your friend. Like you're going to find signs and things that are going to point you in the direction of where you need to go. So the best part I love is when new folks come into the game and they're asking a lot of questions about where stuff is. And there's literally a sign right beside them that tells them exactly where they need to go. Yeah. <laughs> reading in a video game. This is not something you should have to do. I completely, I completely agree. So if I look here, you know, easy hab, easy habs are in all the different locations. This, this is basically, you know, a Homewood Suites. It's a Hilton, right? It's it's basically where you sleep and you stay. Elevators right there in front of me. Okay, and if you look right here, it says inner transit or inner station transit. Hmm, that's interesting. Maybe I need to know that. You've got the medical clinic. Either it's going to be green or red. And then if I look at the signs here, you know, just kind of run down. Okay, shouldn't be going in there. Don't block this. Okay, up. Oh, there's a burrito bar. Good to go. And then anytime you see customs, or you see stuff like this, you could pretty much guarantee that this is where you're going to get your ship, which are going to be these right here. But we're not going to worry about that yet, okay? Because you've just logged into the game. You've just made it to your first area. You left 
your bed, right? You got up and you ran out and now you're like, okay, now what do I do? Well, the first thing you're going to have to do if you're in Lorville, you know, and some of these others, Orsons and some of these others is you got to get to your ship. Okay. The bottom line is all the locations you're looking for spaceport signs. That's where you're going. You're going to a spaceport to now recall your ship to then leave that area. Fairly simple. Okay. Before you leave, press the I button, go in. And I'm just going to explain what these two different areas are off to the right side. It says local, right? Local means this is everything that is locally to that location. So right now, if I look local and then I look at the, the name underneath it, it, this is Everest Harbor. So my local inventory, I have a million, I think it's a million. I, I can't count how many zeros. One, two, three, yeah. So a million SCUs in Everest Harbor. If I look at the left side, I have personal backpack. I have a hundred K SCU. I got core armor compartments, 12, SCUs and I have leg armor, which have seven SCUs. Okay. So this is super important. If you look here, I barely have anything in here. You need to make sure that, that you click and double click things. And you're going to see that I had a filter on. Now it's not filtered anymore. And you can mess with this stuff and kind of see if you have anything local that you need to take with you, when you recall your ship, we're going to move it over. Okay. So let's answer this question that, that just got asked. The first question, where the heck do I get more oxygen? What should I be looking for? Well, hopefully you don't need oxygen. If you need oxygen, uh, you may have a problem. But like, if you look at me right now, I'm at 50% water. I could also have food that's down in the bottom left hand of the screen, right? You see the little, you know, it looks like a little drop. The one thing that you can do instead of buying drinks and stuff early game for, for new folks, I tell you just to go to the medical facility, wait until it gives you the room. Okay, we're going to room three. Very simple. We're going to run over here. Right, I'm looking for the signs. So medical rooms is up there. There's room one to four. We're gonna go in here to room three. So if you're injured, you need oxygen, you need food, you need whatever, you go in here and you lay down in this bed. And I want you to watch the bubbles down there in the bottom left screen. And you'll see that as I lay here in this bed that those things are gonna start to increase. There it goes, it's already increasing. So you don't have to spend any money. Now, the important part to understand is when you lay in this bed, you're not going to go to 100%, okay? You're only going to go to 99%. To get to 100%, you need to drink or eat. So if I went and took one sip out of a drink right now, I'd be at 100% and you no longer would see it down there. If you don't see anything down there on the left side of the screen, you're good. You don't need any water. You don't need any food. You're good to go. So you are ready to rock and roll for whatever you need. Um, okay, so let's talk about the ship okay so, so you're you're transitioning through this the port that you're at you're going to the uh the port right because you, we, we need to leave so that you're looking for a spaceport that way we can go through and what you're looking for are these right here they're called fleet managers and, and you'll see them there'll, there'll be security here security signs i mean it's pretty easy they don't all look the same but you'll be able to find these pretty easily okay and then what you're going to do is you're going to walk up to it and you have two options I like to just press and hold F and then left click Welcome. now to pull up your fleet manager. Now, basically what this means is anything that says claim means that my ship is somewhere else. Anything that says retrieve means that the ship is where I'm currently located. Okay. Yep. Uh, thank you for the subscription, Pablo. Appreciate you, buddy. Y'all got questions. Don't be shy to, to, to ask. So if I want to claim a ship, all I need to do is this Titan. Let's say that I want that. Well, it's not, let's not claim that because nobody's going to fly the Titan. Let's <laughs> Let's claim. So, okay, the Scorpius. If I click that and claim it, you can see here that I've got a 10 minute delivery time. Okay. I, I'm going to file a claim. I can also pay 5,000 UECs. Listen, if you don't have money, right? And you're a new player. So that's pretty much all y'all do not pay the cost of this. Don't do it. Do not pay the expedited, expedited costs. Just wait. Okay. Go, go get a drink. Go over here to burrito bar or whatever you have locally to whatever base you are and, and you'll see it. So let's just talk about the drinks and stuff while we wait for our ship. You can see these. When I look at it, you see the thing that pops up on the left. I can grab this right here. Quick buy. It's going to hold up in front of you. I can just store it. Super easy. And let me get another one. There's lots of ways to do this. I just prefer to press and hold F and then left click on store. 
I need food. You can come right here. You can grab a burrito. Same thing. Dude holds it up. We're going to store. Easy. Now, if I look, I'll have that now. So I've got the drinks over here now. I've got two drinks stacked. So if you look at that Festa, there's times two at the top. This one, there's times, there's just one. And then I've got two burritos over here and one burrito there. So I've got a decent amount here. We need to move this over here. This is freaking me out. I got a bunch of missiles in my uh, my thing. That's scary. I may blow myself up. Nobody wants to see me blow up tonight. That would be horrible. Okay. All right. So once you make it a space port, you go in, you recall your ship, you wait. Now I went over there, got a drink. Now we're going to come back here and see how far along we got to wait for our ship. Just because you're new at the game, you definitely don't want to be spending the money is, is the big part because the money can be expensive. But we look here. What do we call? I can't even remember what we called. Uh, the Scorpius. So if you look right here in the middle, the status is uh, eight minutes. And you can look across to see what it is to so the vehicle type or the, what the vehicle's name is, is on the left. The info is like where it's at. So you can see my Andromeda. The Andromeda is destroyed. This one's stored. This one's waiting delivery. The location tells you where it's currently at. The status, right? Like, so this right here, I'm waiting on it. The focus, what is it? Light fighter, medium freight, medium freight, heavy fighter, uh, medium fighter. Cargo, if there's any cargo on any of my ships, it'll tell me that there's cargo on it, which is nice to know. And then how many crew members there are. So for the Scorpius, there's two. There's myself and a gunner. Uh, if you do the Cutlass Red, it's me and a co-pilot. Black is me, co-pilot, and then gunner. So forth and so on. So this is pretty good to kind of know what these are. Of course, claim, and then of course you can track them. So very simple. But okay, let's say that you got it. You're good to go. You your your ship has arrived, right? So we don't need to wait for it. So we're gonna we're gonna recall. You press retrieve, ship's gonna be en route. So we're sitting here, we're gonna wait a minute. The number will pop up. So pad one. Now, see that dude right there? That dude that's sitting there looking at my screen? Yeah, this guy right here. That guy, that's scary. So if I go here, he has the ability, if he wants, to jump on a thing with me, right? So see how he's following me right now? He has the ability to come with me, and you don't want that. Um, it's okay if they come with you, because the bottom line is until you open your ship, it's not like he can, he can take it, okay? But uh, just be cognizant that people will, you will have folks that will look over your shoulder, you're going to have folks that are probably going to get on the elevator with you because they're trolling you. And they're probably going to try to get to your ship. It doesn't matter. As long as you don't open the ship up, you're fine. If somebody is on the same team as you or in your group, then the, the, they're perfectly fine. Like they can they can open it. They don't need you to do it. Uh, but just be cognizant. So we may open this door, pad one, and this individual may be standing out there. Um, so j just so you guys know. And if that's the case, if it happens to you, it's not a big deal. My recommendation, go back to the to the thing, go walk around the, the spaceport. Uh, don't don't get your vehicle stolen day one. Because if you do, it's gonna be a good joke. Everybody's gonna laugh at you. Um, and it's not because we don't care about you, it's just because it's funny. It's just because it's funny because you got your vehicle stolen on the very first day. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're gonna wait. Uh, we should be pulling up here in just a second. You can kind of see where it's coming right there. Elevators, before you get in an elevator or an out, and out of an elevator, you need to wait. So see how I waited until this right here is good to go? right everything's good there was black there wasn't any weirdness so it's the same thing if i get back inside make sure you see the elevator before you go running and jumping in there because if you don't if you get off and then get back in um then, then it's just you're gonna have problems okay so just make sure that that's the case oops i pushed the wrong thing sorry uh wait if they steal your ship then what then you go back and then you basically um you just uh, what do you call it? Um, you click the button, you claim it, and then and then basically they've got a bounty. Nine out of ten, if you're gonna get, if somebody's gonna try to steal your stuff, they're gonna steal it when you're out and about. So you're gonna be out and about in the world is when it's gonna happen. Okay, friends request. Hold on. Let me let me get back. I would not be opening stuff on the elevator either. So, um, yeah, claim it. And, and once you claim it, then it just starts the whole process. And then, and all's good. Yeah, Matthew, I got you, buddy. I'm going to, I'm going to invite you once I get done with this, get off this elevator. 
Um, so we know who this is, right? It's it's uh, it's Dal. So we're going to invite him in, and uh, and then he'll come with us. So if for any reason, if somebody gets on your ship, don't freak out. Don't fight it. You can't fight them. Like you're in a no armistice zone. So there's no reason to get upset about it. In fact, my recommendation is just to wave at them as they leave, and then go and report it. And see that how that was black. Don't 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 do it. All right. So let's talk about these buttons real quick. So if you press F2, it's going to bring up the screen. Okay, this is your map, so you can always come here. Down at the bottom, you have your comm link. Anytime that you come into port and you need to call somebody, you basically go to friends. Right here, right here, whatever it is, will be like Everest Harbor, you know, and then you, you click here. If it's uh, ATC such and such, you'll click here. Bottom line, this is where you'll always do whenever you're um, landing. Anytime you land, you have to do this. If you're leaving uh, the port and it's open, so it looks like this where there's nothing around it, then you don't need to worry about it. Before you step out of here, make sure you always got your helmet on. That's another thing too. So I just wanted to do that real quick, right? You don't have to worry about blowing away out here or somebody taking you. You're going to be perfectly fine. All's going to be well. Um, okay, so back to F2 real quick. The rest of these down here, the first one's comms link. Second one is your vehicle loadout manager. Your ship has to be stored before you can do anything. So if I have something that's here that I want to fix up, I, I now can fix it up. So if you look at the Nomad, it's going to open up and I can change the systems, which is the quantum thrusters. I can change the type of paint it has on it and the weapons. So this is where you do that. Uh, your knickknacks, this is where you can learn about the, the locations. So if I look at Hurston, for instance, if I click open, it's going to show me all the different locations and also the moons. So we've got Ariel and all the rest of these. I can also look at these. So if I look at... Thaddeus, I don't have anything there. If I go to Edmund, I don't have anything at Edmund. Oh, it's because I reset my character. But if you have something at one of these locations, it's actually going to show up here. Like you will see like, you know, whatever helmets and, and all that other stuff. And usually that'll happen to me whenever I do missions. Uh, Skyline, very simple. This is your map, your trader. This is how you transfer money to people. Your contract manager, this is where you do all your contracts. Okay, here's all your general contracts. Deliveries are from point A to point B. These are good for new players. I recommend all new players do delivery missions. This teaches you how to call ATC, how to take off, how to land, how to use your lights, like, you know, how to grab things, how to set things down. Like you're learning all of that in these missions. And I would do this as, as many times as you possibly can. Uh, so I would skip new players. I'm just talking about new players right now. I would not worry about search missions, investigations, or maintenance. I would do bounty hunter missions, but I would focus on entrenched missions. So this entrenched mission, this one is HDSF Damaris on Hurston. That means that is a bunker mission. This one for Tommy Stenhouse. This one, it says here, the subject is believed, and I, I can't highlight it, but the subject is believed to be located at a cave on Aberdeen. So it tells you, again, remember I told you you got to read. It's very simple. If you read that, it tells you exactly where you need to go. Um... Ah, okay, yeah, I'll do that too. Um, so I would focus on those three for new players. Delivery and then entrenched. Now you can, if you want to fight dog fighting, then you can do these VLRTs and LRTs and stuff like that. But you've got to start with, basically there will be an assessment that you got to start. It's not like this. It'll be a different type of assessment that you have to start. Mercenaries and personal, stay away from. Until you've been in a game for a while, just, just don't even do it, okay? Just stay away from them. Anything you accept will come up in here. You'll see that in a second and you'll need to track it. This is your history for, for the current play session. So if you're logged in, you log out and come back in, then it'll, it'll be erased. So just be, uh, be concerned about that. Um, it'll actually tell you in these, so some of these, and, and that's a great question. So thank you, Jeffrey. When you're looking at these, some of these are going to tell you that like, like, like here's one delivery the, you see how it says packages for pickup, any order, sometimes these will actually say like a set order or that there's a time limit associated with them, right? Like you have a set time that you need to do. I don't think any of these are going to have that. Um, so you're not really going to have to worry. I think the ones that I saw it on is usually the, uh, the cert, the ones I told you not to worry about right now. I would not focus on anything but delivery and bounty hunters. And all of these are, are most of these are not going to be timed. Like you're going to be perfectly fine. Okay. Uh, the next thing, vehicle maintenance, the different screen when we get into vehicle, I'll show you that. Your journal, I would read through this. This is such a, a cool little thing. You can read through each one of these to understand what a crime stat is, criminal records, uh, jurisdictions, 
commodity price alerts, like all of that type of stuff. It gives you a good understanding of kind of what things are. And then I would also look in Delphi. This is kind of like you, where you currently sit with these organizations on the left. And then of course, any contacts that you have, your career, and then of course the dossiers. So you can go through here and read all this. It's really good to read. You can see that I like doing particular things. Now I've reset my character a couple of times, but these are really, really good. Um, yes, and some quests are illegal slides. So you, that's why I told you for contract manager, don't worry about for search, investigation, and mercenary. Stay away from these. Your bounty hunter just focused on entrenched and you'll be fine. If you go outside of trench, you start doing these wanted and, and things like this. You just, you, you probably setting yourself, you just got to read it and make sure you understand what it is and don't do any personal missions either. These you're going to get scuffed up as well. All right. So we got that. All right. I'm going to go put the ship back. Let me, let me throw the ship back in where it needs to go. Then I'm going to invite him in and then I'm going to show you guys one thing right quick with uh i'm gonna i'm gonna reset the ship just because the timer's been kind of set uh, but i would what i do want to show you is kind of what blighty mentioned which is how to buy how to bind your your key for landing now i did a video on this the other day this is like you need to do this immediately so if you're new to the game you absolutely need to ensure that you are setting this key up like asap all the other keys i think are okay like they're not that bad. I'm gonna, I'm, we're gonna talk through the majority of them. Your action key, your normal action keys are as they are, right? Your w, WASD, that's your forward, backwards, left, right. So that's pretty easy. Okay, so the thing, the thing I just wanna talk about real quick from a key binding perspective, when you go into here, well, sorry. When you go into, you're gonna press escape, then you're going to options, okay? You go into options, you go up to key binding, Here's all your key bindings. You can kind of read through them if you want. I'm sometimes I'm not, I don't read well sometimes. So, you know, I, I try not to read these. You go into advanced control customization, right? We're going to go up to, I already jacked this up. Flight movement. And then you scroll down to where it says request landing. I put mine to F3 because I'm always pushing F1, F2 or anyway, because those are the two main keys you do to get into your, uh, into your Moby. So F3 is what I set mine. To do that, I basically would left click twice. It says waiting for button. I press F3, we're good to go. Now I can back out and go into it, okay? Um, some of the other hot keys, Slay and some of the rest of y'all, those keys are better taught as you're doing something. Like I don't wanna like talk to you about like the gunner's hatch and some of those, because there are things that I've changed, but Okay, so that, that should be a pretty good feel for what you need to do. So at least set up your landing, and that'll be landing and takeoff. So that's you calling into ATC. So if you land or you take off, you'll do that. Unless there's no, if there's no hangar, you don't have to call in for a takeoff. You only have to call in for a takeoff, as I kind of talked about before, if you're physically inside of, you know, of hangar of some sort. Okay, now let's talk about friends right you want to join people so right now the best way to do that is to come in here and so doll wants to come and join me we're going to invite him to the party okay so now he'll be in a party with me it's important to understand that the server sizes inside of this game is 50 people so to join somebody on when when you go to the main menu and it has the three different op, uh, options we went into persistent universe but for the for the options basically on the right side has everybody's name, all your friends. Um, you would need to right click and then join their server. Basically, if, if you're wanting to team up, you, you, there is no cross server stuff that that's going to happen. Okay. All right. Let, let me do this. Let's go ahead and store. Anytime you get back from somewhere, make sure you store your vehicle. Very simple store. Okay. And then we come back. We're going to pull it back out and then we're going to go through flying. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following All right. Location. Same location. I don't know if, uh, oop. I don't know if doll is here with me, but, um, if he is, then, then, uh, doll, we're, 
pad one just so you can come so what we're gonna do now is i just want to show you real quick kind of you know what what you do okay so so now you you found the spaceport right you've, you've key bound a little bit you understand make sure you got a helmet on make sure you've that, that you've got health you've got all of that uh, you got your little space suit on now you want to go to a spaceport okay outside of the planet i would not recommend that you stay on a planet i highly recommend that you go to a spaceport if you come to hurston oh i guess i got the black uh if you come to hurston i, I swear oh no that is the red um if you come to hurston i, I would highly recommend loreville you're going to come to uh to evers harbor okay to where we are currently anytime you get on and off a ship open and close i can't stress that enough in fact if you guys play with me you're probably going to hear me say it a thousand times you're gonna be like man why does he keep saying that and it's because somebody can steal your ship so if you go you land it somewhere you go in to do something and you leave it open somebody can take your ship nobody wants to take your ship okay to get into a seat you basically come to wherever it is press and hold f is what i do and then i left click to enter the pilot seat there's other ways to do it this is the one way i've done it that i never get a bug if you have a bug when you get into the seat there's an issue you just press and hold y you get out of the seat so that's how you get out of the out of the driver's seat or any seat really uh, so to get in you press and hold f left click to get out you press and hold y and you'll get out when you first get in your vehicle you can tell it's shut down right now and i know it's shut down because none of my screens are on the top right the badger you see the red boxes on the right that tells me that it's off and then my hydrogen and quantity which which are my fuel the, the two lines that are going up and down they're red so the way i could turn on this vehicle very quickly is i press and hold r okay bam now it's starting up you're going to get an alert the shields are down and if you look at the top right my guns are starting to slowly come on so they're getting loaded with ammo right now so everything will load all's good right we're looking across i'm still waiting on the shields to be critical now anytime you land somewhere you're not going to want to shut off your vehicle okay you're just going to want to turn off the the fuel and stuff so you're just going to press i and if when i press i watch the hydrogen and quantity the lines that go up and down they'll turn red but the shields are still on right now this is how you ensure that your vehicle doesn't get blown up because you have no shields on right if you get out if you turn it off then get out of it your shields basically a sitting duck so this is how you do it when i get back in the vehicle i just press i again now it's ready to take off okay to go into third person mode so i can see the ship it's very simple i press f4 f4 is the same thing you press whether you're in person or you're in a vehicle i can press f4 to get in and out okay and that's kind of how it looks so if you need to fly in third person that's fine especially for beginning landing and stuff like that it makes complete sense or if you're high speed you know you got your uh, combat flying badge or something you can uh, you can do it this way uh, as i mentioned before i don't need to call in because i have you know i'm in an open area there's no walls here there's no hangar so i can leave so to go up in in a ship you're going to press space bar okay fairly simple now i'm going to go forward just a little bit which is w just because i want to show you something i just don't want to sit there on that base anymore for just a second so we're going to go out here just a little bit and then i'm going to pause and i want to show you something before i go too too far away okay hopefully we are far enough away okay so if i press f4 i go back in the ship if you look on the left side of my screen there's a box that's moving up and down that box is your velocity okay anything in the white the white is where or that light green that's where you should be using when you're landing your ship okay the red if i want to move like you see how fast it goes and, and again, I'm moving my mouse right now, left and right. It's going to go there. Now, when I try to slow down, I let go and I go down. You see, like, it's still moving forward. So I'm still moving at 200 miles an hour or whatever whatever they're using to, to think. So it takes a while to slow the vehicle down. So make sure you understand that. Now, it's going to go past the box, and that's because I'm not pressing W anymore. Okay? The vehicle is basically just kind of sitting here. The right side is your altimeter. That's how far off of the ground that you are understand the majority of the time that thing is okay during the daytime you're perfectly fine but you need to keep your eye on the altimeter and then of course where you're going if you're landing on the planet um, that's super important nighttime 
it's a little bit more scarier i'd wait until you get a little bit more time in the in the system before you start doing that um okay so let's go out here a little bit if i press shift you'll see a boost that happens left side now i only got so much boost right you only get so much and then we can let go and we're basically boosting to the var the other thing that you have at your disposal with this if i press c it's cruise control i'm not pressing w right now it cruise control up you better make sure though that you press c to come out of that when you press c so i'm just pressing c right now i let go of c it goes away i press c it goes back in i let go of c so remember that's cruise control i prefer just to use wsd that way i don't have any issues worst thing you can do is be flying forget that you got c on and then you're smashing straight into a space station it's always uh, it's always a good time when, when and if you do that okay there are options as well that i can press and hold f and i can look around so if i need to look at my screen i can press and hold f and let's say that i want to look at this screen over here then i middle mouse button and i can look in i can get close so i can look at the system i can look at my guns i can look at my missiles right so i can look at everything let's say that i've got a target it's going to show up here uh if i have to redo items here I've, I've got it so you've got different ways that you can if i need to redo power i can redo my power like towards my guns or i can redo it towards you know the drive or whatever i mean i usually keep mine in the middle but um but you can kind of see how it is to come out of it just middle mouse button let go of f you're done like it's literally that simple okay um fuel and stuff you will use okay so again we've we've w a s d right we're coming towards a ship remember you have if i press b this is how i quantum jump okay i press b i wait the left side's calibration the top is your spooling you're waiting for the left side calibration to say ready and then you're waiting for spooling to be complete you can quantum jump as long as it is not 25 uh kilometers or closer so we're at 27 we should be able to spool just a little bit um we may not be able to we'll see here in a second up oh, already done it so we're as close as we could get uh for this one but usually if you're like 45k away 75k something like that just do it again you know what i mean um so then that way you can kind of go in there um what's that what are you doing oh we got him coming all right well come on yeah you can come on So the so the good part with the game chat is like you have the ability so you, you can watch this i'm gonna let you watch this in the thing when you get out into space you're out in space right so so i think he's probably going to jump out and then he's going to be able to fly in space oh in so you can see my landing gears down so i did a i did a, a baddie to get your landing gear it's in so in to pull landing gear up in to put landing gear down so pretty simple so we're gonna put our landing gear up okay let's z to see if he's gonna come out i don't know if he came out already i think we get to watch him oh nice i don't know what just happened there Now you can see if you look at the ship on the top, like I'm pressing the the A and D, you can see the little fires coming off the, the ship. Okay, that, that's basically it self-correcting itself where it should be. So this is super easy to, to do. Uh, if you press and hold Z, this is how you can rotate around your view. Okay, so if I want to look at something, I have the ability to do that. Very simple. The thing to be cognizant of when you're doing this though, if I look here, you see how I've got my line was down here. My, my vehicle's turning. So try to make sure that you put your line, that, that see that line that's right there. Try to put that in the center the best you can. Make sure that you're pressing B and unholding B. So if you're not quantum jumping, unpress B, right? Make sure that you don't have that there so you don't have to worry about, um, you know, trying to do something and you've got that locked in because that'll just cause problems for you and for anybody else. Okay, I don't know where he's at. Hey Dal, I'm gonna I'm gonna go land, bro, so I can show them I can show them this. Okay, 
I prefer. So I can't see right now. So we're going to get behind the vehicle. I prefer to come in um, third person. You can choose what you want to do. This is just my preferred method. Now, F4, again, I'm going to come in. I'm not going to point at the space station. I can't stress this enough. If you're going to come in, come in a little bit at an angle, right? Because that way, when I back off, like if I'm backed off right now and then something goes wrong and I don't slow down like I'm supposed to, I don't ram myself straight into it because you're going to keep forward momentum. So right now I'm going to be good. Like I'm, I'm not going to break anything. What I recommend that you do the first couple of times is just kind of keep it around this red green right here and you'll be perfectly fine. Was Matthew on me? Was he here? <laughs> Was he there? Oh no, he's not there. Okay. I thought you said he was there. I was like, holy crap, dude. I didn't see him there. So you can come up here. You know, you're going to want to get in the space. Remember, we, we set we set a hot key, right? Which is nice. So we're going to, again, we're going to slow down. Okay, we've entered a, an arm of the zone. So that tells me now, now we can press F3. And now I'm just waiting. And what you'll see is it should be the where it says like no target. That thing should light up here in a second. There it goes. Okay, the comms is there. Hello, and thank you for contacting EDL Madness. There you go. Now, if it does that, don't worry about it. Just press F3 again. You'll be fine. Please proceed to assign landing bay. Okay, now what we're waiting for is that right there. You see that circle over there? That's where we got to land. Okay, so super easy. We're going to go this way. Hopefully, uh, Matthew doesn't slam into us, which he probably won't. Again, you know, uh, your QE is your spin. So you can go either direction with that. If you, if you don't see something for some reason, which sometimes it does, what I would recommend is, um, I would recommend just pressing F3 again. Yep. Okay. And I think it's maybe the other side. Matter of fact. Okay. We're going to take this up here. Yep. And it sure enough is. So we're going to go to this other side. All right. I'm going to go into third person because I feel more comfortable with that. I'm going to press in. That's going to put out my landing gear. We're going to spin. Yep. Boost is for both forwards and backwards let's level it out um you you can you can mark it so i will show the markings here in just a second okay left control is it has two functions for flying it'll take you down so space is up left control will take you down I like to just kind of scatter myself in there nice and slow, man. This ain't, this ain't a speed contest. You're trying to land in the box, right? Sometimes if you don't land right in this box right here, then you'll, you won't get credit for landing. I know some people try to do it closer, but I prefer just to land as boop. And there we go. Once I do that, I press F4. I'm in the ship. I press I. We're done. Now. Every time you land before you take off, press F2, go to the wrench. And this is what I was talking about before. Make sure that you see if you have any repairs, if you have any restocks, any refuels that you need to do. So we need to refuel hydrogen, which is 230 UECs, and we got to repair our ship. When you do that, you need to wait. At the top of there, it says repair in progress for fuel and everything else. Just give it a second. It'll run through it, and uh, you'll be good. Once that finishes, we'll be good to go. We're good. We're complete. I've got my uh, fuel off. I'm going to press and hold Y. Off I go. Right? And then now I can physically go. I can leave the ship. Now, before I leave the ship, I always check to make sure I got my helmet on. Can't stress that enough. Um, and then I usually look to make sure the vehicle doesn't have anything on it, too. But I would highly recommend that you always check that. Um, to answer your question, Jeffrey, y you can... You can absolutely go to the, the planet. So if you're, you know, I could have clicked. So basically I double click there. You're going to start here. Hold on. Let me do that again. 
So you're going to go here. You're going to double click on the planet. And then double click again. And then you slowly mouse in. And as long as you see all those landing ports, then you have the ability to choose. So if I wanted to go to Haram, I would click that. Then I could set the route. Okay. I'm not in a ship right now, but it's that simple. Um, sometimes it can be a little finicky. And uh, Dave, you can hear the landing again. How'd that sound? How'd that sound? Do you like that? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. As I, as I said before, make sure that you open it and close it both. Okay? Make sure you're doing both. Don't just do one or the other. All right, chat. What questions do you have? I think that's a pretty good... That's good enough to get you, like, what I would say started to where you feel comfortable. Now, those in Lorville, you need to come to Everest Harbor, where I'm at. You need to land your ship like I just did. Then you're going to come to the elevator. And then I'm going to answer y'all's questions. So get just, you just go ahead and start your questions in chat. But you're going to go down to the lobby, right? We're now going to change where we are going to respawn. So this is super important. If you leave Lorville or wherever you came in the game and you go across the universe and you die, you're going back to Lorville. We want to change that. We want it to be Evers Harbor. And part of the reason why I feel like there's less lag, honestly, up in these stations, but totally up to you if you want to be on the planet. Planets are a little bit harder to take off of, stuff like that. So I choose not to not to do those. Um, and 9 out of 10, most of the people you're going to play with are going to be up in these uh, space stations anyway. The majority, not all. Okay, once you get off the sh once you get off the ship, um, and you come to Everest Harbor, you're gonna take the exact direction I'm taking you right now. You're gonna go and you're going to the medical facility. Now, there's two ways, there's two ways to save your location, so that you respawn here in this medical clinic. And in fact, I need to change mine because I changed mine earlier. One way you can find these right here, the the Olympus Principal Insurance locations. You walk up to the screen, press and hold F, left click. What we want to do is left side, it says Kel 2 RX Clinic. The distance is 20 million kilometers away. That's because it's over, um, I think, I don't know, Arc L1 or somewhere. It's, it's like all the way across the Dagon map. We don't, we don't want to, this is where we're going to spawn, our current regeneration location. We don't want that. We want it to be our current location, right? So the current location that we want is right here. And of course, you can't see it. There you go. So when I transfer back, you see right there, it says transfer imprint. I click it. It tells me, hey, you agree upon death. You'll be regenerated at this facility. Are you sure? And I'm like, heck yeah. Now you can look here and you see on the left side, your current regen location is current location. So if you guys are out doing mining missions or other things and you really don't want to regen like all the way over here when you're down like at Arc 18, then, or, or you know, wherever, Port Trust or wherever you are, then set your regen point there. And, and just stay there. That way it makes it 100 times easier for you whenever you're doing it. The other method that you have to set your regen point, if for some reason you can't find the insurance, you check into the medical facility, just like this. It's gonna give you a room number. Okay, room three. We're gonna run down. Okay, again, we're looking up medical rooms. Good to go. There's room five to eight. That's one to four. We're gonna go in room three. Okay, I can read. I know my mom is proud. And here, you can come up to this digital assistant. Again, press and hold F, left click, and I can do the exact same thing. Okay, I can come in here. I can go to regeneration, left click on it. Over here, right now, it's current location. But if I wanted to switch it, I could absolutely, you know, click over here with the same thing. So just so you know, you have two locations you can do it. And then we're going to lie down. Doll's going to watch us lie down. Hey, Kosh, what's up, buddy? Hope you're doing well. Uh, so, Sly said, so the equipment we start out with from the start, we probably want to replace it ASAP. What would you buy to get ready for a mission that might have fighting? Okay, that is that is a phenomenal question. Because let's, let's talk about that real quick. So, Everest Harbor, the thing I love about Everest Harbor is you're going to be able to buy uniforms and stuff here. Here's the reality. And let me just do this real quick. Nine says out of 10 in this game. I look just like. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Attention. Now left 
Let's do that one. I look just like this. Okay. Nine times out of 10. All I have is my undersuit on and then I have my helmet. That's it. I don't have anything else on. So if I'm going to do, when I look at my thing here, right? If I'm going to go do a, I go down to the contract manager, I'm going to go do a delivery mission. And all I'm doing are these missions that that's, that's how I'm going. I'm literally going only in this uniform. And part of the reason why is because I'm going to pick up packages. I mean, at the end of the day, if somebody blows me out of the sky, oh, well, man, I'm going to regen back up here, but I'm not going to lose any equipment. I'm not going to lose. I'm not going to lose any guns. I'm not going to. The only thing I'm going to lose is probably some cool points, you know, for getting shot out of the sky. But other than that, I, I'm good. So if you're doing delivery missions, you don't need all of that stuff. And, and again, my recommendation for, for all of you that are new that have not played the game, start with delivery missions. Okay. And we're going to talk more about these in a second, but start here, get these. These are going to help you fly. They're going to help you, you know, um, quantum back and forth across the, the space, like all of that. These things are phenomenal for that. Okay. Do five, six, seven, eight of these, and you're going to feel so more comfortable. Now, when you get to bounty hunter stuff, then we want to increase kind of what we have. But the reality with the bounty hunter stuff is early game. I'm going to focus on caves much less than I focus on bunkers because bunkers are nice. You can go in, you get weapons and all that. But the reality, what I want is I want the had night from mining inside of the caves and I can get so much more money. And, uh, and we can talk about that a little bit better. So did that answer your question slide? Hopefully that, uh, Hopefully I got you what you were looking for, buddy. Uh, Skylar said, hey, Sarge, can you cover ship upgrading? Like what to buy for ships, what parts are better, and where to buy them? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Okay, so let's talk about ship upgrades. If you remember, I kind of talked about to upgrade your ship, you press F2, you come down here, vehicle loadout manager, right? So we've got this area here. Um, to, to figure out what ship you're going to do, you go in here, and let's say we want the, the Scorpius. Okay, and I go in, I look at the Scorpius, and I'm like, okay, let me look at my guns and everything. So I've got... Tempest 2 missiles. I've got um, Panther repeaters on basically everything. Okay. Now, the, the one thing that I can do, and I showed this a little bit earlier, but we're going to go over this again because it's it's good. And I'm glad you mentioned it. So th this is the Urkel website. Okay. So there, there's three websites that you should be focused on. The Star Citizen website, this site, which is Urkel. E R K U L dot games. And, I, and I'll link it below the video after we're all said and done. And then of course your, um, the wiki, the wiki, which is over here, which is not that, but it's this over here. Okay. But so for Urkel, we're going to go to ships and vehicles. Uh, we want to go down to, we've got the Scorpius so we can just scroll down. I can look at the name. I did it in order because I'm still not good enough to understand like who makes what yet. I'm still, you know, learning that myself. I can click left on load and then it loads this up. Now, if I look at this, something's a little bit different because this shows I started with badgers, but I've got panthers when you look at what I had. So I can actually go on here and go, okay, let's say that this thing was a, a plain looking, um, you know, Scorpius. It didn't have anything on there. If I wanted to change this weapon system out, I know that this weapon does 153 sustained DPS with the badgers. So if I left click, I now have the ability to kind of see all the stats for these other things. And let's say that we choose burst DPS, right? And that burst DPS is going to throw up all of these things so I can see what those things are, right? And I can kind of go down and go, okay, hey, all of this is good. We have all of these different items. You can do it based off of hit power, uh, power to EM, range, speed, what, whatever the case may be, right? For if, if you are not a... Uh, somebody who's going to be doing dog fighting, this probably is not going to matter to you, but that that's basically how you're going to do it. Right? So in this case, the Panthers, I got four Panthers that are on there. There's a reason that the Panthers are, are what I've chose. They got 500, right? They got the 1100 and there's a set amount of power that they actually take versus the other ones. Um, okay. So that's, so that's one thing. The other thing to look at most of the vehicles that you're going to have, you're going to want to upgrade probably the quantum thruster and the coolers or you know, whatever the case may be. So we're just going to look at the, let me look at the, uh, hmm. let me see if I can find one here. Okay. Let's look at this one, the Hercules. So if I look at the Hercules, I can see it comes with the quantum drive, the Pontus, 
the one thing that I know that we definitely want is we're going to want something that's a little bit faster, right? Because that's basically why we bought this vehicles because we want it to be faster. So right now the vehicle that we have currently, or the, the item that we had in there, I think was like 50,000. This, this TS2 is 208,000. So like that's substantial, right? I'm still good with efficiency. I'm still good with the amount of horsepower, like, you know, how much the fuel requirements are. It's going to, it's definitely going to increase fuel power. So just understand that, you know, one compared to the other, but that's a good thing. Now, let's say I decide to get this. When I left click it, it's going to put it in place. Now that there's a blue line over here. Now I can look to the right over here and I can see exactly where I can buy it. So I can go to crew L5 or I can go to Orison, either one of them, and I can buy this for 93,000. So pretty cheap. Well, I, not cheap, but that's actually pretty expensive, but I can, but I can actually go and buy these right now to upgrade the vehicle. Nine out of 10, what you're all going to be upgrading is the power plants and the coolers. And, and, and that's really about it. Yeah. Hit points. So HP hit points. Um, the only thing you're probably going to be upgrading is the cool, the coolers. Well, the power plants, the coolers and the quantum drives for the majority of the beginning of the game, unless you're a fighter and then a fighter, you're probably going to worry about weapons and shields and stuff like that. Don't get overly worried about this. If you get concerns, post it down in the, in the questions, you know, and, and somebody will do the best we can to kind of help you uh, understand that better. Um, it's probably the best thing to do. Okay. Yeah. And shields shields is a big one. Th this one's a pretty bad to the bone. So this one's got a 220, uh, hit points basically is what it takes. So th th this ship is like crazy as far as shields are concerned. All right. So let's go back in the game. So once I, once I know what I've got to get, okay. And I'm going to show you here because we can actually, let's say the item that we found was here because you can get lucky like the genoa is one of those items so for the cutty black you can actually get the genoa and it's here inside of this space station oh we need to go here sorry um i can go to here we'll call the elevator and then we'll actually head up most of these stations are kind of the same so this one has a cargo center and it has a galleria in it and they both kind of have different since you guys are going to be, most of you are going to probably be here where we're talking about right now, which is Evers Harbor. This will be good for you to see. So for equipment, if you're going to go out and get in a fight, this is where you can get some equipment. Super easy. You go up to this machine, hold and press F, and then we left click. I know I'm skipping around a little bit, so let me apologize. Uh, so we can see the location. You always got to choose this. So we're going to say Evers Harbor category we want uh let's say armor and then we want to do we're going to need to do each one of them right but before i do this what i want to show you is the different classes if i left click on the item i can now look on the on the right side and i can see what it is so this item is light armor it's got 20 percent damage reduction it tells you a temperature range okay if i go to and that's a pab1 arms the set that matches that then is the PAB core, the PAB legs, and there's probably a PAB helmet in here somewhere. We're not going to sit here and look for it, but you get the idea. And maybe that CBH will fit with it. But if I, so this is light armor, 20% damage. This one's light armor, 20% damage. Now the, the addition here for the core is the backpack compatibility. This is light. So that means that you can only get a light backpack with this. And there's multiple sizes of backpacks, right? I don't know if I can select backpack by itself. I can. Uh, so here we can only get a light backpack. Up oh, two light backpacks. So that's all you get. You can see we've got one light backpack, which is going to match real nice, right? Like this thing's going to look. This thing's going to look good. But it's only 40 uh, SCUs. So that's basically how much you can put in a backpack. Where this one is 50 SCUs. And when you look at the price, this backpack with less storage is, is more than the one with more storage, but they're both light backpacks. My recommendation all day long, right? Get the ugly cheaper one. You get more storage space. You get 50 Ks in this one versus the other one. So there's light, there's medium, there's heavy. And I can't remember the next one. I think it's very heavy or very big or something. I can't remember exactly what it is, but this is exactly where you go. So slide to answer your question you asked earlier. My recommendation out the gate, if you're going to go fight people, what I would do is I'd come in here. I would find the, the style that you like. 
So I think a good style is, um, uh, let me, I know what's in here. Let's say like this right here, the Mac flex arms, dark red. And then that, that's what I would focus on. And I would get a set of those. The reality though, after you could do a couple bunkers, you could actually get plenty of, uh, plenty of sets of armor. Um, I'm not going to get too far into that, but, but you can get armor that way too. Um, but anytime you do a bunker or a cave, you're going to want armor of some sort as you go in there. Okay. So the other thing I talked about was, you know, we need to buy ourselves a part for our vehicle. Now I got to remember where the parts is. Nope. It's not down there. It's not there upstairs. It's down here, right? No, it's not down there. Okay. Hold on. I think it's upstairs, right? Yeah, light, mean, heavy. There, there's another one, though. There, there's another size above that. I just can't remember. It's like the mining one. Uh, okay, these, the cassabas, these are like cool items that you can wear inside of the Space Force. So if I wanted myself to look real nice, I could buy them. But you can't wear this out in space. This is meant to just be like, you know, your lounging stuff. Or if we were in a spaceship, and like me, when I become a, a space captain in my cool ship, my jump, then uh then i could be there yeah then the other thing it needs to match so your core match yep okay so let's say we got our spaceship right so kind of what uh skylar was talking about earlier we're going to come to these 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 platinum bays and there's a couple other name shops like that we would come in here and i know that i need a genoa that's what i need for my ship you can sit here you can kind of scroll down to find it if you need to or you can look over on the other side we kind of know what we're looking for so we're going to do uh um so here's vulcan the vestas and it should be that what power plants right yep there you go okay so power plant i knew it's power plants genoa and there it is so th this is what would fit my cutty basically and you can tell it's pretty expensive it's 150k so you're probably not going to be doing a lot of these buyings um as you're coming in here but at least you know how to do it once i buy it then it'll it'll always be there so it'll be local so if I go in and look at local inside of mine right now, I actually have that may be an other or utility. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, maybe it is vehicle. Let's see. So yeah, here's all my missiles right there. So here they are. So there's a Genoa. I've got an Odyssey. I've got a Trommel and I've got a Pontis. So these are all the other things. All right. Yeah, no worries, sunshine. Be good appreciate you so hopefully that hopefully that helps any other uh any other questions or thoughts anybody anything else i'm missing like from a general perspective the bottom line deliveries are your friends oh admin station let's talk about this real quick admin station anytime you go out you do mining this is a good place you can just kind of come back to almost every station has one you can come in you press sell and you can uh pick the vehicle and then sell whatever you have and then the other thing that I would tell you is right here, if you get a ticket, don't sweat it. Your fines and citations, these are usually, you'll see them right here at the top. Go right there, hit the fines and citations area. And then if you have an infraction of any kind, it'll tell you on here, you can pay your fine and then you're basically done. So very easy. I think that's a pretty good description for everybody. So you kind of know what, you know, what you have and all that. Um, and don't worry, the we got the Discord as well. So I, I thank you, Blighty, for saying that. Come on in, ask questions, all of that. We're basically done with what I would call the true beginner's guide. So that anybody's here, I'm going to pull in Doll now. And we're probably going to go out and do a little bit of missions right now. Um, so, so everybody can kind of see those if you want. I think we're going to go probably do some caves uh, or bunkers just to continue kind of getting him and then helping him with any questions he, he has on combat-based uh, items. So, and then we've got a couple killer pilots as well in the community that or people that are just way smarter than me that can help as well so all right any other questions all right doll you there buddy yeah let me put on some armor <laughs> yeah i'm gonna do the same thing all right so we're gonna go let's take this helmet off let's put the armor at all those backpacks um oh it's gonna be next page 
Oh yeah, that's the other thing, Chad. You've got these pages down here. I consistently forget that I have those. <laughs> okay, there's that. Let's put the arms on. Put that on. Boop, boop, boop. What is this? Look at that. Like it. Okay. Let's get a weapon. I got a question for you. Yeah. I've got the med gun and I've got medi pens and I got them on me, but I don't know how to use them. Okay. Well, good. Well, we will. We will talk about that real quick. Let me load these weapons on here. I'm only bringing one gun because why bring more? <laughs> yeah, you don't need more. In, you don't need more than one. And uh, if you ever need to, that's weird. Okay, that's good. Um, uh, I don't have my, okay. So let me put my stuff on real quick. Utility. We are going to do I've got some burritos and water on me. Don't forget your food. Oh yeah. I've got those. We don't forget burritos and. Okay. I will only use a knife. That's what I'm talking about, Casey. That's what I'm talking about, buddy. Hope you do well. <laughs> All right, let me see. Now, I know daggum well, chat. How is that ammo? Whatever. I'm not, I'm not going to fight with this thing. Okay, so if if you have you have your so you can come over here to me real quick. So if you have your um your stuff, right, which is going to be your mining tool and then so I always take a mining tool whenever I go into bunkers or caves. So I always so if you look at my setup, I always have my mining tool and then I always have the the paramed, uh, except for the one time I go in there with you, and for some reason I don't have it on me. But well, do you uh, have a spare because I don't have. Yeah, for mining. Yeah, I don't have a mining tool here. It's I, okay. I just I dropped want. it. I just dropped it, and dropped it. I think I think you should see three things on the ground, right? Yeah, there should be three things down there. Was there three or only two? How many was there down there? I think we saw one. Well, you should have had the, the gun and then you had, then you should have picked, what, what did you pick up after you pick up the gun? Yeah, there was, uh, it's in my inventory. It's uh. It's the uh, tractor beam. Okay, and do you have the mining attachment also? No. Okay, hold on. Okay, I just dropped the mining I do. attachment. It's all the crew out one, my home. Okay, well, I just dropped it. There it is right there. It's right there. Okay, and then once you put that in your inventory, so press four. Okay. Now press four again. So you press four one time, it'll pull out one item. Press four a second time, it'll switch. So it'll go from mining tool to health, right? So for, so pull out the mining tool. So press four again. Now what I do is I, I know there's other ways to do this. This is the way that I don't get bugs. I press and hold F. I then move my cursor over the weapon and I click customize. And then what I do is I hover over where the attachment is and left click to see exactly what i have and then right now on my multi-tool attachment i have the tractor beam attachment there's a blue line that tells me that that's what i have and that's good because we're going into the bunkers because having the tractor beam is phenomenal in the bunkers because you can move bodies quickly if we we're going in a cave i would then switch it so i always have a tractor beam on me and i always have a mining attachment on you make sense Yeah, it makes sense. Okay. Um, 
so what you can do is if you press B so when you have the med the med gun out so press four okay so the med button as it sits right now it's gonna shoot somebody else right if you press B you can shoot yourself so basically just left click well you're not gonna do it but you would left click and it would do it and it'll tell you how much the percentage is and everything else in it so and then if you want to shoot somebody basically you you go over and you'll see the different parts of their body and you want to make sure that you know like which part like you'll see it like earlier for you the red part of your body was was bad like right now your left i could heal looks like your left yeah and that's it and all you do is left click it and you're good to go and then when you want to put it up you just press press and hold r and it's up that easy okay one thing i do want to show you you may or may not know this so if you know it you can tell me to shut up come on in if you ever need tractor beam stuff you can always do it in caves you're gonna get thousands of them i mean it's usually i don't i don't caves i go to get had night but one of the best places to go is the cargo centers So you can actually come into these here and then you can get everything that you need. Oh, there it is right there. So in here we can get gloves. I didn't know about the cargo centers, but I can get them at Crew L1 too. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, so, and you've got different gear that you can get in you here too. You go to the refinery and you can get them at the refinery. Yeah, refinery's good. Yep, so you can get them at refinery, yep. But you can come in here and you can buy stuff. So you got different boots and stuff like that. And then of course are different levels, heat levels and all of that. So you've got the ability to get different stuff uh, across this thing, different boxes and stuff. You've got the, here they are right here. So you see mining attachment. There's the mining, there's the thing, there's backpacks, coats. I wish you could get this like actual crates, like the big ass crates, but anyway. Okay. All right, chat, anything else we forgot? It's definitely better than talking to your wife, bro. 100%. Tell her I said hi, though. <laughs> uh, okay, we're going to go down hangers and perhaps. All right, well, you want to you wanna go ahead and look at your contracts and see if you've got an, an encampment um, mission that we can go do? Oh, you may want to step out of the thing first. Sorry. I jacked you up. I'm going to walk now. To the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. Okay, so you pressed uh, F2, go to Bounty. So you go to Contracts Manager, go to Bounty Hunter, and then you're looking for Entrenched Bounty. Yeah, I've got one. Okay, and then in it, it'll it'll either say Target to HDSF something or another, or it'll say Cave. You want the one that'll say like HDSF something or another on such and such location. HDSF uh, HML on Hurston. Okay, except that, that doesn't say a cave though. Yep, that's good because shouldn't if it says cave, then that means it's a cave. This isn't a cave, so hit accept offer, and then go ahead and uh, and share. Okay, there it is. Share. I'm gonna left bracket. I've accepted. Uh, the other thing you want to make sure you do, you already know this. Contract manager, go to mercenary, click on call to yeah, arms, and accept. I that. got. I don't have call to arms unlocked. Uh, why don't you have call to arms unlocked? You should have it unlocked. Oh, uh, I did not earlier. I do now. I don't know why. Yeah, you may not have. You may not have had it earlier just because you hadn't done any missions yet. But you do now, and now to give you bonuses. So every kill you get like five hundred extra uh, ducats. All right, let me uh, let me give you something to drink real quick. You gonna you gonna fly? Here, if you look over my shoulder, you can see my fleet. Okay, hold on a second. Let me get, let me give me something to drink. I haven't got oh, much here. I got a Scorpius here. I can if you want me to. No, it's it's up to you. I'll leave it up to you. I don't mind flying. I'll give you the option. Oh, that's so good. It's tasty. Mm. 
here, <clears> I'll <throat> grab I'll grab this ship. You'll like it, but you have to. There's only one seat, but there is a bed, so you can lay down in it. Just for takeoff and landing. What is it? It's uh, my luxury commuter, Pad 4. Hmm. It's a surprise, Pad 4. <laughs> uh, soldier, what are you doing, buddy? Got about another hour, ladies and gents. Can't wait to see it. Yeah, I want I want to get your opinion of my pimp mobile. Oh yeah, I like pimp mobiles. I love them. Hell yeah! It's even got a custom paint job. <laughs> you like him? Ah, oh, what movie are you watching, buddy? What y'all think about watching? Let me make sure I got my helmet on. Okay, we're good. Oh, look at that thing. My origin 300i. What up, Tony? How you doing, buddy? What, do I get to sit in your lap in this thing or what? What's happening right here? I told you uh, you're going to have to get in the bed for oh, takeoff and landing. Oh, hell. This is, this is where things get a little bit weird, chat. Chad, I got to make eye contact when we're in here with him. This may this may get weird. You don't know yet, Bruh. Oh, I have to. Oh, I have to lay in it. I can't sit in it. Oh, that's cool. I'll take a nap, dude. Oh God, this is great, man. I'll put my dirty boots all over your your bed back here. Hey, d real talk right now. Is, is this I like my customized bed spread? You know, I mean, I there's a pimp mobile, man. I th that's my thing. Si. He may he may end up trying to harvest my organs. I I'm just a little concerned right now. Things are just can, can I at least have four? Out? OK, we can have four. So at least we can. Look at this little cool little thing. Does this thing have a quantum jump on it? Yeah, it's got the atlas on it. Okay. I just got to figure out where we got to go. <laughs> ah, very funny, uh, soldier. Nicely done, sir. Yeah, I would fly straight uh, the Hurston's where we got to go, so it's going to be somewhere down there on that. That there planet. <laughs> uh, you guys are out of control. All right, chat, we're going to do a bunker mission. So this should be a good one. You got, I think you guys saw some of these earlier. So it won't be anything too out of the norm of what you saw. Uh, Stand by for jump. Uh, Roger that. Whoa. Whoa! Do, do, do. You do know I only have a harness permit, right? What, in flying? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Yeah, I like it. 
I mean, you'll, hey, you'll be, uh, I'll back here taking a nap. It's just like, you just want to chat. Look at that. Look at that sun set, man. Dude, that is unbelievable. I mean, what other game do you know that looks like that? I mean, that's just... Just unbelievable. Cubert? Oh, Cubert. Cubert does not look like this. Oh, here it is. Okay, what you want to do with these, you want to park on the back of the building. You have storage in this thing? I forgot to ask you that. A little bit. How much is a little bit? Uh, one SEU. One SEU. Yeah, that's not very much. Uh, the other side of the building. So the, where the circle is, you want to be on that side. And because the gun can't shoot you either. So you like you want to be center line where that gun is on the on the back side. I can't tell if you're, nope, you're still, you're on the right side now. Yep, back up, see that center, that circle, it's over there to the left. Yep, a little bit more. There it is, right over there. Yep, and you wanna try to center it because you don't want the gun to be able to shoot you. So see that gun up, well, you, you saw it earlier, you were killing it. If you're center line and get as close as you can right there, see how it can't shoot you because the thing's there? You don't want it to be able to shoot you while whenever we walk inside. That's usually when it starts to shoot. Okay. All right, man. That was uh, that was a comfy little nap there, bro. Damn, kept this quiet. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I didn't tell anybody. Kept this so secret. You, you like my little uh, pimp mobile? Yeah, I like that, man. It's nice. So it's a, it's a nice. The only thing I want, man, is a rail gun. If we could get a rail gun, bro. Yes. Sam Barton, did you get out of jail? Finally. Forty-five. Okay, I don't hear any shooting, so we're good. No shooting, so we're good. Crouch was uh, control. Uh, le yeah, left control. Yep, yep. Oh, you kept dying. Oh, that's weird. All right. Which direction are you going? To the right you going to the right okay i will right, we'll go left there's uh one tango one tango down center another tango down center you have at least one tango right oh he just came back to center what the hell is that dude he's down 
And the other thing with, with the ammo, you want the ammo to run out. Don't try not to reload your weapon because uh, the way the game reloads is a little bit weird. All right, I don't Tango see... down. There's still one, I think, alive over there on the All right, I'm moving up. Oh, there's one that just ran across the right side. He should poke his head up. He's down. All right, I'm going left. You got the right side over there. Nicely done. Up, oh, ran back across. He's coming across the middle. That dude. Oh, shit. Holy crap. I thought somebody just shot me. Okay, nice and slow. I'm coming up right now. Got a guy right there. I just took him down. Yeah, nice and slow on these clears. Make sure that you got me with you. Right behind you. So when you do this, Dal, look, come come back to where I am. Come back to where I am. Yep, come back here. Stay on the far side here and then circle around outside. Like that. All of these are kind of the same. So you can go ahead and go. Don't cut the corners like that. Nice. Yeah, she better say hi back or get herself in trouble. <laughs> All right, I went right. You got that cargo area down there? Checking. Okay. I'm going to back server area. Heck yeah. Heck Clear. yeah, going shooter born in heaven. All right, we're good. Clear back here. All right, nothing here. Okay, we got a med here. I don't know if you need any meds. There's uh, some green paramed refill if you want those. The heck was that? red box Woo! yes please and we'll take that what is that is there a weapon over there all that's in there is arms I took the sniper that was in there I think there was at least one other see nothing there okay there's a red box and a small box up here there's about 20 dead dudes right here jeez the weezer just piled on top of each other we got in here Oh, there you go. All right. Yeah. If you want to come to me, here's some whole bunch of stuff. There it is. Uh, that's what we want right there.
There's only one thing I want in here, and that is this gun right here. Okay. Rest is yours, buddy. <laughs> Dude, this thing is ridiculous. Chat, uh, should I shoot this in here? Jeez! <laughs> Whoops! That's a big man pajama. All right, I'm out here. I'm good when you are. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. That thing is just unbelievable. It's like, say hello to my little... F Wait, what is that up there? There's somebody up there? Baby. Don't make me. Don't make me. Or maybe railgun somebody. All right. Make it back to your ship. Ah, that was pretty good, huh, chat? Pretty good stuff there. Got some good stuff. Now we can see if we can get a cave. And then we got two good ones. And then uh, I got to be out by 930. So we got about another 30 minutes for sure. No, nope, I'm not shooting his ship with a rail gun. <laughs> what in the world is happening here? Why don't I see your stairs? <laughs> I should have shot the... Should have shot that. All right, inner ship. Crap. Okay, hold on a second. I have to get in here. I've got to put this stuff in your ship. This is ridiculous, dude. So I can't, I can't, oh man, that sucks, dude. Well, I can't do it. I picked the wrong ship. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. You're okay. You're okay. It happens. I didn't even think about that. I can't, I can't climb a ladder with it. And I don't think I can. Hold on. Let me, let me try. Let me try before I say I can't do it. Because I don't think it's going to work. If I, if I try to pick it up, I think it's still going to. Dude, get up. Why am I stuck in this bed, bro? I'm stuck in your bed, bro. I'm stuck. I like the sun, the sunroof. Help! That comes all the way back. You ready? Hold on. I want to try to get out and see if I can pick this gun up. I would shoot a different ship with a rail gun. Let me let me see if I can pick this gun up. Is it still down there? Yeah, it is. I think it's going to knock it out of my hand again, but we're going to try. All right, hold on a second. Uh, did I keep it this time? Yes. Okay, hold on. Let me put it up. Nice. Man, that makes me happy right there, man. Motion. I, I think what we do is we take this rail gun into the into a cave. All right, let's uh let's F two while I'm laying in bed. Let me see if I got a. Do you have an entrenched that is in a cave, or do you only have one that's not? What do you mean? What do baddies look like? Um, Sanborn, what does that mean? I only have entrenched. I have another entrenched. Okay, yeah, not in the yeah, cave. Let's, yeah, let's do that one. Yeah, just same thing, and then just share it once you do it. Okay. 
I think I got it. Let me check and make sure. Oh, armor. It's uh, usually purple or red. You just got to be careful. Like they'll, like you'll see them. And, and if you're, if you wear purple armor, when you go in, even though you're trying to pretend to be a good guy, they will, uh, they will, the good guys will shoot at you. So you got to be careful. So if you go in and you're like, man, why are the good guys shooting at me? Well, nine out of 10, it's probably because you're wearing purple armor. Nobody told me that. That was one of those little uh, hidden gems that somebody should have uh, warned me. Ah, uh, there's nothing like just laying up in bed. <laughs> there's no way we were in there that long. Ooh-wee! Yeah, anybody with purple though, Sanborn for sure. No questions asked. We could go do... Stand by for jump. Roger that. Motion, you know what we could do? Did you get those tiger claws that were in that one case? That's the thumb drive looking things? Yeah. Okay, good. You know what we could do is we could go shawak. Hmm. Nah, let's not do it. I think we could go get us some, some big boys, but that mean we'd get our crime step we we'll go way up because we basically go in and just wreck everybody yeah but you've only got 30 minutes oh yeah yeah that's a good point yeah i got the, we got the meeting we got a meeting for this at 10 so i just want to be off by i'll be off stream um, by 9 30. i just crashed did you yeah game crash oh god do i have a way to get you out of your seat I don't know. <laughs> I'm logging out, bro. <laughs> yeah, I don't I'm think not, so. I'm going to end up at Crew L1. I'm not, I'm not logging up in your ship, bro. That, that's probably not a good idea. I've got ammo. Uh, motion. I've got enough ammo to take him out, bro. I can win the big one all by myself, dude. All by myself, dude. That's just how I roll. I'm uh, sorry about that. No, you're, <laughs> hey, man, you can't do anything about it, man. Hey, man, we're used to it. I don't get fired up about it. All right. Let me know. Okay, you're out still, right? You're at the main menu. You say you're you're at the main menu, right? Yes. Oh, sorry. Okay. No. All right. Now should I'm gonna take us back in. Hopefully, it does not put me back in that bed. <laughs> it's a comfortable bed, man. I should have grabbed my Cuddy Black or something else. Or the Scorpius, you know, I aim with the gunner. Wow, the Scorpius, though, you, you, uh, the bad part about the Scorpius, ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. You don't have any, you, you don't have any cargo, the Cuddy Black. Was Are you in it. the ship? Yes, sir. Wow, dude, wow. Like, we got lucky. Are you flying right now? Because we're about to hit the ground. Uh, I... I alt F4 or something because I just crashed again. It does not like. Whew. Yeah, you yeah, you going straight to the ground. <laughs> we almost died again. Holy crap. Something about this place in Hurston, uh, my game doesn't like. Really? Hmm. 
All right, let me know once you're back out. Well, actually, let's let's quit the game completely, and then we'll come back in, and then that way I turn my completely off, and then we'll come right back in. Yeah, but I don't think it's you. I think it's me. Yeah, I still do it though, just in case. That's what. That's why I tell my better half too. But I say it's not me, it's you. You know, I mean that's that's just me being real. You know. Stun lock studios. All right, let's see. Yeah, right. be careful with that because uh, I don't do that with my wife. I don't, uh, you know, tell her it's her. I'll, I'll say it's me. But I've been married for 30 years, so I mean, through the military, that's an accomplishment. Mm-hmm. Heck, yeah. All right, so you should be back in with me, right? Are you at the main, main menu? Yep. All right, let me flip this over. God help us. Yep, here we go. I got a feeling, chat, we're going to be right back in an airplane falling from the sky. Gonna be, we're gonna be dead. I'm gonna be pulling up. <laughs> yep, just go, just go straight up. Motion, have you played Brotato yet? That game's good, man. New. Maybe not. Maybe done for the night because, uh, I ain't yeah, that's weird. I'm uh, just loading and loading. Yeah, uh, that's weird. Yeah, it's pretty cool, man. It's, it's a good game, man. Yeah, maybe I'll do, uh, that, that'll be Twitch for sure when I do that. Separate than this. All right. I don't know what's happening. All right. I'm all F1. I'll be back. All right, chat. Yep, looks like we're having some uh, technical difficulties uh, with with the game. I appreciate you guys. I mean, the main thing we wanted to do tonight was to really kind of focus on doing a beginner's guide for, for folks. Um, a lot of information. So for new folks, if you're just coming into the game and you're just trying, let me just say, you know, take your time, enjoy the game. You're going to have bugs. Things are going to happen like we just saw here, you know, with us. Um, and all you can do is you can just kind of take some of it. We'll report some of it, you know, as it happens. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, 45, you know, 45 bucks, 40 bucks, whatever you're paying, depending on the package that you're getting, or if it's even more, I mean, that's completely on you. You know, give it a try and just see, but just make sure you're meeting the requirements and all that. As always, I appreciate you guys. Uh, for everybody else, my, my normal folks, appreciate you guys coming out and spending the second time with me tonight. Uh, we'll be back on Monday, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll be streaming this weekend, but it'll be over on Twitch. That's completely different. I don't usually stream Star Citizen uh, for that. So if you guys want to come over, you can come over there. See now, Sarge, you can search. Um, that'll be tomorrow and probably Sunday. But if not, I'll see you guys 1 p.m. on Monday. You guys stay out of trouble. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. And as always, thank you so much for spending some time with me today. Appreciate you guys. See you later, Blighty. Bye, Motion. Sam Bourne, we'll see you guys.